hello and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another video in this video we are quickly going to learn and see how we can install and configure nginx web proxy server now the question is why do you need an nginx proxy server well you see if you have multiple web apps or you have multiple websites in your network you cannot host them without a reverse proxy server for example if you have uh, one public ip address you can use port 80 and port 443 to map only a single web server if you have another web server, you would need another public IP address or you would need another WAN IP address that you would map to an internal web app. But if you have dozens or if you have hundreds of these web servers or you you want to host or you are uh, a developer and you develop quite a lot of applications and you want to you know host them on your, on your server, uh, then you have to buy or you have to get uh, an external IP address or a live IP address for each and every application you want to host. Because port 80 is for the HTTP traffic and port 443 is for HTTPS traffic. The other way without doing this, without getting the proxy server or without involving the proxy server is, uh, is mapping your internal web apps to different ports. For example, the default is port 80. So one of your web app will go to port 80, the other one will be port 81, the other one will be port 82, 3, 4, 5, it will be like this. But this uh, becomes suspicious, you know, for some users, they will not browse, they will not, uh, if, you, if you host an e-commerce application, they will not buy, they will not do a transaction, online transaction with these port numbers because they will think this is unsafe. Uh, for SSL, you need to map it to port 443 uh to be fully secured and it, to solve this problem we are going to use something called reverse proxy which identifies the the host or the the the, the resource being called via the headers whenever you browse the internet or you open google.com your request will include google.com as a requested header or as a requested a resource that will land to the reverse reverse proxy server of Google of whatever web server or wh whatever uh, data centers it, it is in and it will be checked that what was the requested uh, service from this client was it google.com was it facebook.com was it whatever it was and it will be routed uh, accordingly for example you have a web app in your network called uh, example1.com and you have only one IP address or you have only one static IP address or dynamic IP address, you can use the reverse proxy server to map your requested URL through uh, to your internal um, uh, web server. For example, so for example, you have a web app named abc.com and you have an, a, a second web app called uh, xyz.com, but you have only one IP address and you want to host both of them on port 80 and port 443. Now what you will do? Now you will do nothing. Basically you will just install a proxy server, a reverse proxy server, and you will tell that reverse proxy server whenever someone is requesting abc.com, just forward this uh, request to my this IP address or this web server. And if someone is uh, requesting for XYZ, just forward the request to this IP address. Now you can do load balancing and all kind, all, all kind of fancy stuff with that. Uh, it's very simple. In this video, I think um, the overall uh, installation deployment and uh, installing a dummy web server, example web server, I think it took around 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, you can just cut it to half if you have already uh, a web server running. Uh, the only thing is you want to open port 80 and port 443 uh, to your web proxy server and that's it. Everything else from there will be uh, controlled from the, the proxy itself. So let's get to the practical side and let's get started. All right, we'll start by creating a container, giving it a host name, any host name, anything you require or you want rev proxy because it's a reverse proxy password something easy that you will remember and press next okay select a template of the os we are going with alpine linux next set up the disk size 8 is enough core 1 is enough 
memory nf vlan if you want ip address if you want static we are going with dhcp next uh, leave it blank dhcp will assign these okay these are the machine configuration click start after created so it will create the virtual machine i mean the container and it will start it up okay this is created this is how quick the container thing is on proxmox that's why i love proxmox all right we'll start the container i mean it's automatically started we'll just get the console of it okay here's the console the username is root password is what we've set in the previous window okay this is it now all we have to do is just paste this link which is uh, attached in the description and also in my github it might it will take about 10 5 to 10 minutes i'm just gonna fast forward it all right it's almost okay it's done all right so now we need to check the ip address and we need to check if nginx is installed in the front end is working or not uh, this is the ip address of our machine uh, 88.20 just click go to all right i'm sorry guys my screen recorder just clipped the top end of the browser you can just browse it by machine ip your uh, ip address and colon port i mean colon 81 which is running on port 81 all right you have to change your email address if you want change your full name and your nickname and then you will require to change your password the current password is change me your new password should be easy it could be same as change me or whatever all right the user is modified now uh, we can go ahead and start adding our servers but to do that we need to have a server so we will create uh, this is where you will enter your domain name i mean your domain which will forward to the reverse proxy nginx server uh, here you will enter the domain name which the the users will enter in their browser so let's create a test web server uh, just put your host name whatever host name you require to put here test web server password admin123 or anything or again admin123 admin123 uh, just uncheck unprivileged click on the selected template 8 gb is enough we'll make it four cores memory it's enough just a web just server vlan sign if you want leave it blank start after created no we need to do something else so leave it blank it will take some time yeah i'll just fast forward it okay task done the virtual machine i mean the container is created now let's check if it is yeah here it is uh just one uh, step important step go to features uh check nesting okay go to console start otherwise your apache service will not run this is happening on the on some newer um, version of the proxmox let the initialization initialize root password what we've said before all right set up the password for my sql miners account mysql again skip 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 all right this is the ip address 88.21 so we just gonna oh here it is 88.21 we have a web server working we'll go to cpanel we'll just create a c name that will direct this um, host name to our router or to our IP address. Okay, it's created. We'll go back to our Nginx. 
proxy manager npm in short now we will create a host here we will enter the c name which we have created in the c panel or your dns uh, okay the ip address um it was 192.80 let me check i'll just copy it i'm too lazy you know sometimes okay 88.21 uh, we're going to define the port. It's running on port 80. We'll check these two. We'll go to SSL, request a new ports, and we'll check these four radio buttons. Not radio buttons, switch, uh, switches. The best thing is uh, here in the Nginx proxy manager, we can uh, request free SSL certificates for your, for your domains or for your redirects or whatever you are using it okay this is working if we click it will take us and this is secured all right i mean this is your test web server it could be anything uh not this stupid page it could be your php server it could be your html web server your php application your any web application even it could be your mb web server even it could be your anything like any web um, web server all right so now we will create another server uh, we'll create on the same machine we will create another cname record point at uh, the same server but on a different folder all right for example if you have two applications running on the same server all you have to do is create a separate subdomain uh, i mean the subdomain which i'm creating is a separate cname record okay um in the c name you have to add the host name which you will which you can get from your um from your dns provider from your dyn dns service or if you have a static ip you can just create an a record and then in the c name second you can uh, you can add a second c name record pointing to your uh, Dyn DNS host name or an A record if you have a static IP address. All right, we'll add that newly created C name. Um, first, we'll, we'll create the folder, the new folder. Okay, webmin, come on, yeah, proceed. I mean, for now, I'm just creating um, a, a, a second folder on our web server and we will redirect um, the, all the traffic which is coming on the second CNAME which we created to this folder. And in this folder, you can you can host your second application, your second web, web server, I mean your web app or second PHP site or HTML site. We will just uh, put anything high there. This is the second app. We can remove the PHP if we want, because anyways, so we just want to see the text. All right. And there is a comma missing. All right. Save, save, save. Add our comma, missing comma. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but anyhow, just save. Um, we're going to check real quick. The second subdomain or the second CNAME which we created, IP address is going to be the same 88.21. Oh, oops, 21. We'll, for, uh, we'll forward the port to port 80 as well. Save okay it's gonna oops it requires ssl so we will enable ssl Alright, so it, it's working, but it's pointing on the same folder. 
so we we are going to just add uh, correct settings i mean the custom location add location it's going to be slash here will be your ip address 192.168.88 sorry 88.21 colon um sorry slash app two oh my god and save all right um the this domain is forwarding to a folder which is hosted on the same web server uh, it can be your second app it can be your it can be anything like Anything you want to put there will act as a separate server. So thank you for watching. This is it. We've created two containers in this uh, 11 minutes. Uh, one is Nginx server. One is the, the test web server. And we've created two CNAME records pointing to uh, a domain which is being um, translated as um, to an A record uh, with our static IP address, which we have, and the result is in front of you. In 11 minutes, you can set up your own web uh, reverse proxy server, the front end, the back ends, and make it work. It's, it's this simple. If it was not the Nginx proxy or the, the front end uh, proxy manager, it would have taken much more time. Uh, we would have uh, end up um, editing the config file directly, uh, which could be bothersome, which could be like hectic. If you have so many hosts, if you have so many web servers running, um, it could be chaotic, you know, and for new users and for new administrators, it's it's uh, it can be a pain in the ass, you know. So this is how you do it uh, in an efficient way. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like the video, share the videos with your colleagues or anyone looking to host web servers or host um, multiple web apps from their home, from their office, from a single IP address. Uh, they can host multiple web servers. Um, internally either they can have one web, web server or they can have many but externally if they have only one ip address or if they have only one host name which they can use so they can use that to host multiple uh, resources or web apps or anything all right uh, also support us on patreon if you want otherwise you're free to go and thank you for watching and assalamualaikum